question I was asked is why does magnesium react with water? The first thing I want to point out is that magnesium is certainly not very reactive with water, but if you put magnesium into water, it will very slowly react. The real thing that I want you to consider here is the ionization energy of magnesium. Now, ionization energy specifically refers to the energy needed to remove an electron from an atom in the gas phase. But it's not a bad proxy for how much energy it takes to remove an electron in the aqueous phase as well. Here we have magnesium solid and it's going to react with water. Now that's going to be a liquid. This is more than anything a single displacement reaction where the magnesium displaces some of the hydrogens in water, it ends up giving you MgOH2. Now, does that dissolve in water? It does a little bit. So lots of teachers will have you put a Q. I suppose some might ask you to put S. It really depends on what, uh, what solubility rules you're using. Okay. Now, what's actually happening here is that magnesium is going from a solid and it's becoming its ion. Magnesium hydroxide is a metal with non-metals. And so you are creating the magnesium plus two ion, albeit in the aqueous phase. One of the things to consider here is how much energy it takes to remove electrons. You're actually removing two electrons and again, there are complications because those electrons have to go somewhere, etc., etc. And from solid to aqueous is certainly not directly ionization energy, but it's for the same process in a different state. Ionization energy is the amount of energy required to remove an electron from an atom in the gas phase. It is highest in the top right corner. Fluorine, an electronegative atom that wants to gain one electron to complete its octet, does not want to give up its electrons, so it requires a lot of energy to remove that electron. Helium, a noble gas which is already stable, also certainly does not want to give up its electron. Once you get to the other side, though, these atoms want to lose electrons because they are most stable once they've lost one electron or two electrons and become more similar to a noble gas, emptying out the valence shell so that the next energy level down, which was full by definition, is now the outer shell. Francium reacts with water instantly. At least we all imagine so. It's too radioactive and rare for us to have tested that out. Cesium is very reactive with water. Rubidium, also reactive, but less so. Also reactive, but less. Also reactive, but less. Also reactive, but less. And the same goes for this column as well. The lowest ionization energies are found down here, and magnesium is kind of in that zone. Magnesium wants, wants to give up some electrons. The key word your teacher's looking for, if you haven't figured it out, is that Mg has low ionization energy. It is willing to give up its electrons to become a plus two ion. Very nice. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.